So question number three says particle A of mass 1.26 kgs. This is 1.26 that means 12.6 Newton and particle B of mass is 0 0.9 kg that means 9 Newton weight are attached to the end of light in extensible string. The string passes over a small smooth pulley which is fixed at the edge of the rough horizontal table. If that is rough we are going to have friction. This is mu r and this is r normal contact force. A is held at rest at point 0 0.48 meters from P as shown and B hangs vertically below P at the height of 0 0.45 meters above the floor as shown in diagram. The coefficient of friction between A and the table is 2 by 7. A is released and the particles start to move. Show that the magnitude of acceleration of particle is this and find the tension in the string. So same way we are going to find the equations or write the equations for A and B. So let's write for B first. B is moving down so I would say weight minus tension is equals to MA. F equals MA so net force is W minus T where weight is 9, tension is unknown, mass is 0 0.9, acceleration is unknown. So I'm making T the subject 0.9A is equals to T. Let this be equation 1. Now we write equation for A. For A horizontal force F is equals to MA. It is moving towards right hand side. So the forward force is the tension minus the resistive force is only the frictional force is equals to MA. Now we fill in the values T is equals to mu is given 2 by 7, R is equals to 12.6 as can be seen from the diagram. Only two vertical forces is equals to mass is 1.26 of A. This is equation 2. I am substituting T in this equation which was 9 minus 0 0.9 of A and simplifying 2 divided by 7 times 12.6 gives me 18 by 5 which is 3.6 is equals to 1.26 a bringing this a on the other side meanwhile 9 minus 3.6 is 5.4 and that goes on the other side gets added 1.26 plus 0.9 is 2.16 a Acceleration equals to 5.4 divided by 2.16. 5.4 divided by 2.16. We get 5 by 2 which is 2.5. So acceleration 2.5 shown meters per second square. And tension. So when we have the acceleration we can put that back in this equation tension is equals to 9 minus 0.9 a tension is equals to 9 minus 0.9 a so 9 minus 0 0.9 into 2.5 9 minus 0.9 into 2.5 we get 6.75 Newtons. Second part of the question. <coughs> it says find the speed with which B reaches the floor. So we know that B is at a height of 0 0.45. We know the acceleration. We know the initial velocity. And we do not need know the time. So V square minus U square is equals to 2. AS is the only equation because time is missing. Speed with which B reaches is final velocity. Initial velocity it started at rest. 2 into acceleration is 2.5. And displacement from the equation is a height of 0 0.45. So V square is equals to 2 into 2.5 into 0.45 is 2.25 square root both sides 
and we get 1.5 meters per second third part third part says find the speed with which a reaches the pulley so when b hits the floor a actually keeps on moving <clears throat> when b moved a distance of 0.45 a will also move a distance of 0.45 this complete distance is 0.48 so a comes from this point till this point covering a distance of 0.45 but after this point it has to cover some more 0.48 minus 0.45 is 0.03 so we have to find the speed with which it reaches the pulley when they are connected they have the same acceleration and same speeds b reaches the bottom with 1.5 meters per second so a will reach this point with 1.5 meters per second so from this point to this point we are going to solve so if i say that we are using uh, we have to find the acceleration again so f is equals to m a forward force there's no forward force because b has already hit the ground so forward force is zero and resistive force is the friction a equals m a mass of a is 1.26 acceleration is unknown now we are going to plug in all the values to find acceleration coefficient of friction is given in the question that is 2 by 7 normal contact force is 12.6 is equals to 1.26 a this is 12.6 so 2 into 12.6 divided by 7 is 3.6 negative 3.6 divided by 1.26 equals acceleration acceleration is 3.6 by 1.26 negative sign just indicates that it is retarding slowing down so once we have the acceleration minus 20 by 7 meters per second square I can now find the speed using the formula v square minus u square is equals to 2 a s final velocity is unknown initial velocity is the one which we left it with a that was 1.5 meters per second square 2 into acceleration is minus 20 by 7 and displacement to be covered is 0 0.03 meters so v square is equals to 2 into 20 by 7 into 0 0.03 is 6 by 35 and 1.5 square is 2.25 So 2.25 minus 6 divided by 35 is a lot of number so keeping it in fraction 291 by 140 now squaring both sides square root both sides I get 1.44 meters per second 